Hey, my name is Kyle Gilbo. I'm a Canadian comic book artist and writer. And this is the first vlog in making of my coming of age graphic novel, Story of My Life. But this is future Kyle, recording at the end of the vlog. So I'm gonna throw it to past Kyle and he's gonna explain all the bumps in the road that have led up to this point. All right, I'll put like visuals around to help describe this. So to give you a gist of what happened is basically at the start of 2020, I decided I was going to write and draw my first ever graphic novel. Um, and what ended up happening was a global pandemic. <laughs> so basically I finished writing it in uh, like July, I would say of 2020. And then I spent two months working just like my butt off uh, drawing. Like I literally just spent all day drawing. And I guess like my friggin' posture was insane or, uh, and I was gripping too tight or my neck was hurting or something and I got tennis elbow uh, in this hand, my drawing hand. Um, so I'm dealing with that since August of 2020, I had to stop for four months, uh, which became 2021. And I was planning to have it released in December 2020, but I couldn't draw anymore. <laughs> so I've been chipping away at it since then. Uh, I'm about page 30 out of 110 right now drawing and it's gone through a lot of iterations of style just as a result of uh, the injury. I was working in a very sketchy pencil line to be the finished line art and now I'm working in pure ink again. Uh, I was gonna be in color and now I've gone to gray tones just to save time and uh, like <laughs> I can only be drawing for a couple hours a day at most, maybe two. So I really just have to find out how I'm gonna use my time better and I think documenting everything would not only give me a creative outlet while I can't draw, but also find out uh, what I do in a day and where that time goes, so. But at least I got a little bit of work done today. Uh, I've learned not to take that for granted. I'm probably just going to sit around and watch the rest of Masters and then probably watch a movie. So probably gonna pick this up tomorrow when I wake up early to get vaccinated. I'm really looking forward to that, so that should be fun. Coronation Day. <gasps> it's Coronation Day! Alright, so we're like 40 minutes post-vaccine now. I'm in bed. My head kind of hurts, my arm still hurts, um, but mostly fine. I'm a little dizzy and nauseous, but I'll probably go away. I did get a package, which has more movies in it that I'll probably, I'll probably just spend the day in bed. Although two people complimented my shirt today at the vaccination place, which says, make, make it a blockbuster night which is just crazy. So in honor of making it a blockbuster night, I'm gonna open this package. I mostly, I mostly just feel now, I don't feel nauseous as much as I just feel like when you swallow a pill and it's like stuck in your throat, you feel, have that feeling. I feel like that now, which is weird because I didn't swallow anything. I didn't, I didn't drink the vaccine. <laughs> All right, so we got Moneyball. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, Paper Towns, and the Fallen Art Stars. Okay, I just realized that this one has the digital copy for your PSP, Mac, or iPod. There's no way it's that old. <laughs> So I just watched uh, Spiral from the Book of Saw. It's actually probably one of the better Saw movies uh, in the franchise. I liked it, I liked it. Chris Rock was surprisingly good in it and he was really funny. So I also got a lot of white, oh there we go. I got that panel done today, which I'm happy about. I went and got uh, the first ever uh, massage for my arm today 
uh, and it went really well. I actually, I feel pretty good today. I mean, my left arm is still sore, and then my right arm is sore, especially when I'm holding the camera right now. Um, but ultimately, a pretty good day. Uh, might get a bit more drawing done. We'll see if there is. I'll record it. So, see what happens. Uh, also, I got, uh, I didn't say this, but two days ago, I got all of page 39 done. All uh, line art and tone. And then I'm on page 40 right now. So, making progress. She's a star. Thursday or Wednesday. All right, it's Thursday. Um, I'm now done with the day. I've worked, I've showered. I got the train jump splash page done today. I got drawn and toned. And it puts us at this week so far, uh, three pages drawn and 13 toned. Toning is way faster than coloring, which I love. It takes me like 20 minutes to tone a page. So I may have got a lot done. I'm going to take tomorrow off for the benefit of my wrist. I'll probably spend time editing this vlog.
So yesterday I got page 43 done, and then this morning I got page 44 done because I'm not getting anything done for the foreseeable future. That's because Guilty Gear Strive comes out in eight hours. So I'm not gonna be doing any work when I can be playing video game. And uh, I've, I haven't shown this off, uh, even on social, I think. Glare, there we go. Uh, it's my custom uh, Persona 5 uh, arcade stick. So this is my like early pandemic project. This is my old Street Fighter Cross Tekken arcade stick. Uh, I modded it to work on PS4 with uh, custom art I made and then plexiglass and buttons on arcade stick are from Focus Attack. So this was an early thing I did in the pandemic, uh, especially while I couldn't draw. So putting it to good use now. All right, so now that I got eight hours to kill, I'm gonna at least spend a bit of it watching the movie Audition. And like everyone in my age bracket, I've been obsessed with Olivia Rodrigo and especially the Good For You music video. Uh, they put out a behind the scenes uh, making it and talked about 90s feminist horror movies. So I really just wanna watch some of that. And then I saw that Audition apparently inspired it a lot. So I'm gonna watch that on Shudder and a couple others I wanna watch. So that's like two out of the eight hours I gotta burn until Guilty gear. <laughs>